Hi everyone, it's Joy here and welcome back to my channel. Today is day six of my Shark Week card event and I'm gonna be using products from Technique Tuesday. Now I have a bunch of giveaways, so for you to be eligible, I'm gonna need you to subscribe to my channel, comment and like on all of the videos. For more details about my Shark Week card event, head on over to my blog at createitwithjoy.com. Now let's get started. This video is sponsored by Technique Tuesday and Cardstock Warehouse. Now in my Misty, I have my images laid out from Technique Tuesday's Sid and Susan the Sharks stamp set, along with the word that I'm gonna use as part of my sentiment. I'm doing that because we're gonna be doing some kind of complicated, I don't, complicated masking. I don't say it's complicated, it's more complicated than the masking that I did on day two of the Shark Week videos. So I'm actually inking these up on my white cardstock with some black Copic friendly ink. I'm then going to stamp my images onto the masking paper. Now this is different than that other video because I'm going to be overlapping some images. So now my first images are just kind of laid out, not overlapping each other. So after I cut these out by hand, I'm going to peel off the masking paper and adhere all of these masks onto my images. I will be doing some ink blending on the background, but I'm also going to be overlapping some of these images. So when you're masking this way, when you have a scene where some images are behind others or in front of others, you want to start with your images that are in the foreground that are closest to you and stamp those images first then mask those off and then you're going to go to the next layer. So you're going to kind of work from the foreground to the background when it comes to all of your images when you do masking. So I'm just uh, applying these to inside of my stamp line which makes sure I will not have a little halo around my images. Then I'm going to come in with my next images and kind of lay those down and ink those up and just kind of repeat this over and over again. Inking my image, stamping it onto some uh, masking paper, cutting it out and putting it down. So as you can see, I'm going along and some of these images are overlapping the other ones and I'm just going in order from the foreground to the background. This actually really is super simple. When I first started doing it this way, my brain could not wrap around the concept for some reason, but once I got it, it really was super simple and I've been doing this uh, for a long time. So I'm just gonna continue stamping all of my little images to make this really cute scene. I want some of my images going off of my card panel because I'm not gonna trim this card panel down. So I'm just going to stamp them off of the sides to begin with. If you're gonna trim your card panel, then just go ahead and stamp them inside and then trim it down later. So I'm gonna finish just one last image here. And now we're gonna just do some ink blending. So I am using a the Lawn Fawn Hillside Stencils. This is a stencil and a masking stencil. So I want the bottom part to be the bottom part of the ocean. So that's gonna be different. So I'm actually masking that part off. Coming in with my Distress Oxide inks, I am using Peacock Feathers, Mermaid Lagoon, and Salvaged Patina. And I'm going from lightest to darkest at the bottom, but keeping it a really fun kind of a teal color, which is my favorite color. Then I'm going to move this stencil up and mask off the top part, if that makes sense. And now this bottom part, I'm going to ink up with Gathered Twigs and Antique Linen, which is my, these are my two favorite colors for sand. The Antique Linen is the nice light part of the sand. And then when you blend on the Gathered Twigs, to me it looks like the wet sand. So if you had this on the beach, it is a perfect color combination to me. So I'm just gonna blend this at the bottom. I want it a little bit darker, leaving some lighter areas. But as you can see there, it really comes together nicely. I'm just gonna clean up my area really quick and then peel this back and we've got this great inked background. Now, I used this stencil, forgetting that it was not, they, they retired this. This is Honeybee Stamps Ocean Scene Builder. And I'm just using some white pigment, pigment ink from uh, tailored Expressions. This is their Sugar Cube ink and a blending brush, which is going to give us some of those water, the light like coming through the water. Now I'm going to gently peel back my masking paper. I am using my tweezers to kind of help get under the edge, but I'm being really careful with that. And then we're going to just do our Copic coloring on these images. I love how this scene turned out. These little shark images are so, so cute. 
So I want to talk about their stamp set. This does have a coordinating die, which obviously I did not use, but they've got these two sharks. I used every image that's on the stamp set, but they've got some sentiments and some of these sentiments are large and you can, some of them are kind of open sentiments so you can color them in, which I think is really cute. So it says, looking shark, hope your day is jawsome. Thanks for being a great chum. Have a fantastic birthday. Jaws because, which is where I'm taking my inspiration from for this card, for this sentiment. Hope your day is a, hope your day is a frenzy of fun. Heard you were not feeling well. That bites. And you are totally great. So these are really fun sentiments. And I think these sharks are really super, super cute. So I'm going to be using the jaws because, but I'm going to use the word jaws. If you saw at the beginning when I was laying out the stamps, I had the die cut sentiment that spelled out jaws. What we're going to do is after we've colored this beautiful scene, we are going to die cut our letters out of it and, and pop them up. And it really kind of gives a 3d effect. And it, I love this type of card. I don't do this nearly enough for how much I love this look. So I'm going to finish coloring all these cute little critters. And so the Copic markers colors that I'm using are B16 and 26, RV55 and 66, R83, Y08, 11 and 19, YR02, 09, YG25 and 17, W1 and 4, E31, 35 and 37, T1, 3, 5 and 7, and C1 and 2. So now I'm going to come in and add a little bit of shading with the C1 and C2 under all of my images so it looks like they have a little bit of a shadow. Then I'm going to come in with some of these brown markers, the E1, uh, or excuse me, E31, 35, and 37. And I'm going to start adding dots. I kind of start underneath my images and then I just add little dots all the way around. I've got a darker marker here. This is the E37. And I'm kind of keeping that mainly to the darkest part of the card. Then I'm going to come in with E35, work my way up to the middle part, and then E31 in the lightest part. And I will go back over the darker dots with the lightest marker because it kind of blends it out. But I feel like this really adds a lot of interest to your sand or dirt or whatever it is that you're going to be using. Then I'm coming in with my micro gel pen and just darkening up some of those little um, hangy things from the jellyfish. Okay, so I'm going to tape my card panel down to my work surface. I have my T ruler because I really... I'm not going to eyeball this. I eyeball a lot of th a lot of things, but this is not something to eyeball. You want this to be straight. I'm going to make sure all of my spacing is correct. I'm going to make sure that it's spaced evenly from the edges and from each other. Make sure everything is straight. I'm actually going to bring in my tweezers to kind of move things around so I can just move it ever so slightly. And I have it centered exactly where I want it to be because I want this to cover a lot of the images because that's what's going to make this look so cool. I'm just going to tape that in place and run this through my die cut machine. And this always makes my heart pound really hard because you've just done all of this work and you want to make sure you did a, a die didn't shift. I've had that happen before and it is awful. <laughs> so the dies that I'm using for the words are from Pink Fresh Studio. It's their Adore Alpha die set. And what I like about this stamp set is that it has a little frame around each of the letters and I'm going to glue those down separately. So I did adhere this to a white uh, A2 size card base and I'm just gluing down the little points of the letters with some liquid glue because I don't want anything to pop up. Now you can see I'm taking off the frame there. I'm coming in with my Barely Art liquid glue. I like this glue a lot because it has a fine tip, uh, fine point tip. So you can just do a little bit of glue. I'm adhering down all of the little frames first. I want those flush. The rest of the letters are going to be popped up for dimension and that's what makes this card look so cool. Now I did leave it white behind this, but you could add a color, you could add black behind this, you could do red, you could do a dark blue. That would be a lot of fun too. I just really didn't want it taking away from my scene that I've just created. So. I'm going to finish adhering that down and then I'm going to add some foam tape behind all of my sentiments and pop those up. I did just want to remind you guys to make sure that you comment, like, and uh, like on all the videos and subscribe to my channel to be eligible for 
the giveaway. And I've got great giveaways. There's about 10 things I'm giving away. So it is uh, worth doing. So anyway, so here's the foam tape that I'm adding behind and then I'm just using my tweezers to place those down. And as I'm putting this down, you can watch the scene come back together. And I love this. It is so much fun. I just think this is mo one of my most favorite uh, techniques that people do. So now for that A, you have that little centerpiece. The centerpiece has a frame. So I'm gonna glue that frame straight down to the background and then it has another little little centerpiece and I'm going to actually add the tiniest bit of foam tape to that center because I want that centerpiece popped up. You absolutely don't have to do that but I just felt like I just needed to do it right for me. That to me was right to have that centerpiece popped up and it really turned out super cute. But isn't that image so fun and now you can see the word Jaws and I just think it turned out so adorable. So I'm just gonna try to get that piece to stay in there. And now look at that. Now you have your sentiment, but you have your complete scene. I just think this is so much fun. So now I have to use the sentiment from the stamp set and it says Jaws because, but obviously I don't need the Jaws. So I'm gonna mask that off with some low tack tape. I'm gonna ink up my sentiment, remove the tape and then stamp it down. If I have to stamp it multiple times, I just keep adding a new piece of tape, removing it and stamping it again. And then I'm gonna trim this down with my paper trimmer. And I'm gonna pop that up on some foam tape right underneath the word Jaws. I'm just gonna trim this out. And I just stamped that in black ink. Red ink would have been cool too. Uh, blue ink would have been very fun, but I just kept it kind of simple with the black ink. So foam tape behind this. I felt like that was better and I'm kind of having it overlap some of those images. So it kind of looks like those little fish or whatever are gonna swim behind it. Then I'm gonna come in with my black glaze pen, of course, my white gel pen. You guys followed me long enough to know this is how I do things. So I'm just gonna add all of my little highlights. I'm not doing too much. I wanna keep it very simple. Then I'm gonna finish off with Honeybee Stamps Ocean. Oh, what are these? Oh, I have to link them. I can't remember what they're called, but I just think they're so, so beautiful. So I will have those linked below. But isn't this a fun card? I wanna thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. And remember to come back tomorrow because I will have another video for you. And I'll see you then, bye.